Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Winter Soldier 2005 and today I'm going to be playing Subnautica. And you may have remembered that last episode we freed the Sea Emperor eggs, hatched to them. Uh, I don't really know what to do now, but I have been wanting to make this alien compartment and I've just been stuck down in the uh, lava zones for so long. I haven't been able to construct it, so we're just going to do that and see where this episode takes us, honestly. Because... I Aquariums don't know what else to do. An ideal opportunity to study alien fauna up close. Select carefully which life forms you bring on board. They may also be studying you. So, how does one? How do I put eggs in here? I can't equip the eggs. Gosh dang it. What do I do with this? Okay, can I put a peeper in here? What? Ah. Ah, uh, we'll just listen to this radio message. This is Altera HQ. This may be your only communication oh. window. We can't send a rescue ship all the way out there, so Aurora just gonna have to meet us halfway. My ship's broken. We uploaded blueprints to the ship's We're computer. We're sandwich run, you in? Uh, yeah, give me a second. Black box data shows the high security terminal in the captain's quarters is still functional. Becky's the leaving like in five minutes. All right, well, tell Becky I'll just take the, the regular. The regular? Yeah, she'll know what I mean. The code should and be... she doesn't? Just tell her the regular, dude. Okay, the if I say regular, she's like, what's the regular? I have to come all the way back up here. The code should be 2679. The regular's just a ham and cheese. Okay, would you just say ham and cheese? Ham and cheese! Okay. <laughs> is that it? Okay, so that's another thing we could do this episode, is go to the Aurora again. But uh, I'm gonna look up how to put eggs in here. Okay, so I looked it up, and apparently you have to build a hatch on the side. Did not know that. And... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Okay, wait. Um, apparently you can also build a multi-purpose room on top and if you do it'll make the containment room like bigger but no I don't want it there I want it uh he here would it be there or would it be taller does this just make like a really big multi-purpose room I don't know oh it does well, actually, you can probably just enter from the... Gosh dang it, look Look at my camera. The camera right there. It, it's moving because another a stalker has it again. Use planter. So I can plant things. If I just drop the egg in here, will it hatch? Or do I have to use a planter? Nope, I can just drop it in here. Huh. Uh, let's go get another egg. I'm pretty sure I have an egg just sitting in one of my storages. Um, could drop uh, these feces in there. Yeah, we have another creature egg. Another one. Do I have anything we could plant in there? Uh, we have these. Ta we have a table coral sample. Might as well just put that in there. Um, drop. Use planter. No, can I not? Okay. Fine. Have it your way. We're gonna drop another creature. I mean, it looks like they're moving. That's more than they were doing while they were out just sitting in the ocean. So I hope they're doing something. Uh. You know what? This episode, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go back to the Aurora. That's what we're gonna do. Because they gave us codes to get into some locked doors. And I realize now that that's where I act I got the uh, launch pad schematics and stuff from. I just uh, looked it up instead of waiting. Uh, <laughs> instead of doing the entire story first and just going deeper like I should have been doing 
Uh, but this time I'm doing it properly. So, I'm gonna do that right now. I still think it's funny that I've only upgraded my uh, <clears throat> Seamoth once, and I've been absolutely fine with it. I hardly ever use the Seamoth. I just use it from for like short distance things. Like I almost do nothing with it. Like I haven't gone deep with it, like the prawn suit. I haven't upgraded it at all. Like in my previous save I had upgraded it to 900 meters, but now it's just sitting here like... Uh, okay, so we're back here. I'm gonna pull out my propulsion cannon so I don't get attacked by a bleeder again and just be completely helpless. Cause that was awful the first time that happened. I had never been attacked by any of those before. And now that I know what they look like, I see them all over the game. It's just that, like, I've never... I don't know. Okay, so let's check... Um, 2679, is this the captain's quarter? 2679. Tis not. But, uh, there's also some stuff down... Oh yeah, this is just a regular way to get in. Um, uh, go... Which way? Where are we going? There a door over there? Nope. Uh, let's go here. It's been a while since I've been down here. It's been a couple days. More than a couple days. It's, probably... it's been a long time since I've been in here. Um, living quarters is over here, so I assume the captain's quarters is also in the living quarters. Because why would it not be? Um, okay. Can I open the container? No? Fine! Have it your way! There you go. What's in here? Medical kit? Cabin 1. Uh, what was the code again? Is it 2679? 2679. 2679. 2679. No. Um, is it down here? I don't think I could get into cabin 5. wonder what's in there, though. Yeah, Captain's Quarters. 2679. So, I wonder if I get the codes the same way as I get the Captain's Quarters. Oh, it's a little ship. Nice. Uh, there's their PDA. Aurora poster. Don't mind if I do. Yep, here it is. Here it is. Uh, but... When I was in here... When I looked up the codes that last time in the other save... Uh, I was able to get into the room that's over near the entrance. Uh, I hope that we get that code at some point. Cause I'd like to know what's in there. Cause I don't remember. It's been such a long time since I played the other save. And... I've only played this save for 22 hours compared to my one day in the other save, and I'm already farther along the story by a long shot when compared to okay, when compared to my other save, which is quite weird to me. That I'm so far along in the story on here, but uh, yeah, let's look. Where's the, uh, blueprints that I just got? Neptune launch platform. Oh, so that shouldn't be bad. Um, are we just gonna launch off of the Subnautica place? Are we gonna launch off of 400... 456... I don't even know what the number is anymore. Um, uh, but... Data bank, data downloads, Aurora survivors captain's log. Okay, you were exploring. Oh, is this just a, what is this? Is this a game? 
think it is. Uh, loading program, Craig Mc McGill Simulator. <laughs> Uh, you are exploring a quiet alien backwater when the ship you arrived here implodes. You must be the arachnid kidney poach- It must be the arachnid kidney poachers, what? <laughs> Quick, what will you do? Search the grass site, farm alien plants, use the tectonic, the imploder. <laughs> what? I'm not even gonna read the rest of that, what the heck? Time capsule. These sturdy containers are designed to store written and photographic evidence for later retrieval. No way! It's a time capsule, no freaking way. In addition to being... In addition to a number of small items. Time capsules are often fabricated by maroon survivors seeking either to aid those who find themselves in the same predicament in the future, or to leave evidence of their plight which may be found long after their bodies have disintegrated. Most emergency escape vehicles are equipped with a time capsule by default, usually found in the cockpit and be, and be jettisoned on takeoff. Altera requests time capsules be stocked with tools, resources which will aid tools and resources which will aid those who may discover them in the future. Uh, good for them. Neptune Escape Rocket. Rocket. This blueprint set was developed at Altera headquarters specifically to get you off of 4546B and back to the nearest phase gate. It takes into account local gravity, astronomical data, and available resources, and is piloted by AI. It may be adapted to employ whatever power source is available, but it will require a lot of it. Okay. It consists of five independently constructible items. Launch platform. Floating platform provides a solid base from which to launch the rocket. Gantry provides stru structural support. Stage one, which is the primary thrusters for reaching atmosphere escape velocity. Stage two is the fuel reserve, and stage three is the cockpit, where I will be probably. Features is it has one person life support, short range communications, don't know if that's really a feature. Adaptive power supply, orbital shielding, onboard time capsule. Warning, onboard AI will not launch if local threats are detected. I feel like that's a, uh, I think that's kind of foreshadowing something that's gonna happen. The use of alien materials to power the craft may increase its range in unpredictable ways. Uh, I hope not. So this was just the code. Uh, these are the last recorded transmissions. Transmission delay, eight hours. Opening last to recorded transmissions. This is an emergency distress call. Aurora is on collision course with planet 4546B. Sending all available environmental data Please respond with rescue solution out. This is Altera HQ. Attached to this message, you should find the blueprints for an escape ship that we calculate will be capable of breaking orbit and getting you back to the nearest phase gate. Now, it's designed to use materials you can find and sit you, but it's gonna need one hell of a power source. Now, we'll be sure to... Aurora Long Range Communications, really, offline. Let's make this bad boy. That's all I can say right now. I'm excited to get off this planet. I'm not excited for the game to end. But I'm excited to get off the planet. We've been here for a very long time. I wonder if it uses ion cubes? Or if it uses ion power cells and stuff. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so... I wonder how I craft this thing. There's no way I can just craft it straight out of the fabricator, right? Um, let's, let's play a radio message. See what this is. Ah, oh, it's doing alien crap again. That, that's it. Nothing. Whatever. It's not like I care. We're getting off this planet. Wait... Am I gonna get shot down? Uh... Uh... I have a feeling... That's exactly what's gonna happen. And that's why there's below zero. Maybe. Eh, what do I know? Oh, so I make it with the mobile vehicle bit. So, two titanium ingots. There's a reason I collected titanium while I was at the dunes. I think that's the dunes. Well, that's just the Aurora crash site, and it looks like the dunes. Whatever. 
I don't know half of the things in this game. Doesn't matter if I've played this game for almost a day. I still know nothing. We need four lithium. Was there lithium in here? Yes, there was. And I did not grab it. What is wrong with me? Okay, what do we now need now that we've made these? Ah, we didn't need plasteel ingots. We only needed titanium ingots, and I wasted all the titanium. Ah, okay, I'll just, I'll just, you know what? Screw it. Um, I'll get all the resources for the Neptune launch platform. Uh, offline, so you guys don't have to watch an entire episode of that. Um, and I'll just create it. I'll just create the actual platform in the episode. I'll just record that part. But, yeah, I'll do that offline. And so that means I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you, everybody, for watching. If you like this episode of Subnautica, you know what to do. Smash the like button and the subscribe button. Goodbye.